We are live. Hey, yeah, you can do the intro this time, you know. Hi, everybody. This is Mitch the Mage, and I'm playing with... Me? I'm here again. You know. <laughs> Kaz. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that. Okay, what difficulty do you want? Medium again, or...? Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Sweet. We should probably stick to medium for now, I guess, anyway. Yeah. So, so okay, this one has three. Oh, wait, you've done this one before. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay. Yeah. But after this one, this after this one, you're stuffed. Yep. You haven't seen flying enemies or anything. Oh, I did not know there were flying enemies. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So you can have the two chests on the right side. I'll have the two on the left. All right. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, okay. I do not have the fireball tower yet. That is a shame. And now I have the harpoon tower. Is that pretty good? Yeah, it's really good. If you put that behind a bumper tower, you'll pretty much kill anything that comes into range. Sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty convenient, I've got to admit. Yeah, the warrior or the squire does a lot more damage than I thought. Mm. The only problem is he's lacking in range. Oh yeah. Mm. I mean, not lacking. Oh. Whoops. There's lava there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, if you set up your defenses on this side, we should both be able to hold the middle without any towers. Okay. On the way right side. It doesn't really matter. Take your pick. We'll have to defend them all eventually anyway, so... So, should I ignore barricades for now, or use the bumper towers, or what should yeah, I do? Yeah, use the bumper ones. The bumper ones are pretty much a direct upgrade. Save the barricades for when you're almost out of defense units. <laughs> Alright. So, one thing I was thinking in my mind. How do mm -hmm. I pronounce your full uh, account name? Kazooie? Oh, Kazooie. Kazooie. Like Banjo-Kazooie, yeah. Okay. Because I noticed you did spell it a little differently. Yeah, yeah. Well, the whole thing was, you know, I was like 12 and I needed a RuneScape account and Kazooie <laughs> was taken, so, you know, I just kind of mixed and matched a little bit. I get you. Yeah. And that's I'm, the story. <laughs> I'm kind of an egotistical here. I'm just like, I'm just going to use my name and then Mage. Mitch the Mage. Well, I mean, it <laughs> makes more sense, you know. And it's got that alliteration, man. You got that going for you. Yeah. So just hit the G button whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Man, that's so convenient. It really is. Like I said, on the Xbox version, it was an enormous pain in the ass. I bet. Okay. <laughs> you're just firing away, dude. Oh, yeah, man. Sweet. Also, but we should probably be careful because they can come to the middle lane through the other sides. Oh, right, right. Okay. Because mm. they'll pretty much split into two groups and then randomly go left or right. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> people on their <laughs> bloody motorbikes, you know. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is that? That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Noisy bastards. <laughs> um, True that. Oh, that's not it. I thought that was all of them. So, I've noticed that your abilities also take mana? Yes, that's, some do. Some that's do. kind of interesting. It is, but the whole thing is it gets to a point where you've got a lot of mana and nothing to spend it on. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what they are. That, and they will... They're more like nukes sort of things. They're not permanent, but they do a hell of a lot more damage than a tower. I get you. Uh, wave three. I didn't level up, so... Uh, I don't think I did. Or well, uh, or would have told me. Mm. Well, you're okay. level seven anyway, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Alright, we have chests. Oh, yeah. Chest, 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 chest. Yeah, I know when I played this, I played it a little differently. I put the mm -hmm. towers, like, on the staircases where they spawn. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, I find it's easier to build them around the crystal, although when we get closer... Oh, wait, you've beaten the level, haven't you? No, I actually haven't. I got to the end, and I just kind of bunked it, and everything fell apart. Ah, yeah. Do you know why it bunked it, or were you not paying enough attention? I have no idea, because the previous level I did have some trouble, but I guess the next level is just a, a, a bit harder, so... Fair enough. Yeah, there's a reason, well, there's more than likely a reason you bunked it, and, well, I guess I'll explain it when we get to that. So, if you wouldn't mind, sir, could you please put a couple of bumper towers here? Yeah. On this one. And then I will chuck some magic towers on the corners beside it. Sounds good. Okay. Whoops, wrong tower. And I'll chuck one up here. Wrong tower. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, the middle lane, for the most part, is the one we're going to want to protect the most. I get you. Anyway, that should be good. All right. Unless you've got anything you want to upgrade now. Wait, can you upgrade yet? Uh... No. Well, yeah, I can, actually. I have... Oh, I just okay. need 100 mana, like always. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like the elemental guys. They really suck. They do. Especially... For the mage, because the mage has elemental towers. Yeah. So, how do the elements on the towers work? Do they uh, directly coincide with your weapon, or are they a set? Um, each element? tower has its own element. Oh. Okay. I think the mage is actually the only person who has tower elements. Oh, okay. Mm. And then uh, everybody else's towers pretty much do just base damage. Yeah. Physical damage, I guess. Okay. And, I mean, I know only two of the Majin's ones even have elements, so... I getcha. Mm. I think it... Oh, well, it's the Fireball and the Lightning Tower. Ah. Mm. Does the Lightning Tower shoot, like, branches of lightning? Or... I would have no idea, but I'm <laughs> assuming it's like a chain lightning. That'd be cool. It would be. It'd be very convenient. So, is uh, Banjo and Kazooie your favorite game ever? Or? <laughs> um, well, it was till they released the latest one. <laughs> oh, yeah, nuts and bolts. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad <laughs> game, but it was a really bad Banjo Kazooie game. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was, uh, it was basically a car game, right? Yeah, it's like a car r game mixed with Lego. That's so weird. It is, it really is. I don't know if there that's Microsoft. There's a sword over here that might be interesting for you. It's got knockback on it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know Sorry. if. Uh... What you're saying? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I, I, I was gonna say I don't Something know if that Mac was uh, no. Microsoft's yeah. part on that. Or... Yeah, I don't know why they even brought Rare Rareware and decided to do nothing with the port. I mean, they really kind of wasted it. Yeah. I mean, they made a crappy remake of um, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, did they? Like, yeah, they censored it. That's messed up. Like, more than Nintendo did. That's really messed up. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Nintendo's like the child-friendly one. Yeah. <laughs> and... I haven't gotten to play that much myself either, but... I heard it's pretty good, and it has a lot of adult humor that's pretty funny sometimes. Yeah, yeah. There is a giant talking piece of poo. Yep, that's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's an opera singing piece of poo. <laughs> piece of giant With gold poo? horn teeth. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. I don't know if I'd say it was interesting, but it's definitely something. <laughs> so, what have you been playing lately? Ah, uh, lately, just a lot of Starbound. So it's pretty good a game, huh? Yeah. The only problem is, though, I haven't recorded much else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is that mm -hmm. most of your stockpile? Yep. Like, four or five episodes <laughs> of Starbound. Are you all ready? Yep, I'm good to go. All right. 
It won't um force start, so whenever you're ready, pretty much just hit G. Okay. <laughs> That's cool to know about that hosting thing now. Oh, yeah, 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 Skype hosting. It's good to know if you're doing streams and stuff with lots of people. So, do you know how uh, other YouTubers do it when they record, like, four people at a time? How does that go? Uh, like what do you mean? Like, uh, what program would they use for that? Uh, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, Ventrilo. Mumble, Vent. Alright. Yeah. Really anything. I mean, I think... So, uh, actually, no, I don't think they do. I was going to say I think some of them get each other's individual audio files. But uh, I don't think they do that because I just record the system audio normally. Oh, I getcha. Mm. <laughs> Where are these other guys? Here they are. Yeah, I haven't been very loyal to the forum or Let's Play on Reddit yet. I mean, I uh -huh. haven't I haven't posted enough. I I started posting when I started making let's plays, but most That's fair enough. most I mean, of what's posted now is kind of like the content. Yeah, ID it's thing. all about the YouTube MCN <laughs> shit. And it's kind of meh. It's just stopping people doing what they're not supposed to be doing in the first place. Yeah, everyone is having a giant whinge over it. Yeah, I, I honestly don't <laughs> really care. <laughs> yeah. But and upgrade my damage. Some, so and many that people are like, it's gonna ruin our lives. And yeah, it's gonna kill YouTube. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm obviously not very educated on the matter either, so I yeah. have no place to speak. Hmm. I was saying that on a forum earlier because I'm not really part of a network. You know, I can't really talk shit about it. But <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, is that? What's that song? The beer song or something? Oh. Well, that's. I think the beer song is a parody of something else, though. So. Oh, it isn't. I have no idea. <laughs> I just remember that in the deepest caves of my mind. I, I watched that so far, so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those catchy songs you never remember till it's the least convenient. I think I used to remember it during classes when I was really bored. And that would kind of uh, hi hype yeah. me up. I don't know why. I hate it when that happens. Do you have gloves? Ah. Uh, because there are gloves here with lightning resistance. I on. might have like a crappy pair. Uh, These aren't amazing, but they've got lightning rods on them. It says I have a better pair, so I guess I'll... Okay, the reason you would have a better pair, though, is because that one can't level up. Oh, so that's how it goes. Yeah, huh? it takes that into account as well. Interesting. Like, that pair would be better right now, but in the long run it wouldn't be. But to be fair, we're using, like, level 3 armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't really say much right now. <laughs> Mm. Once you get up there, I guess that's when it all comes yeah. down. But... Once it you level up less than five times the level, you know. Yeah. Squire, you're so. There good. you go. There's a really good pair of gloves for you. That is an insanely good pair of gloves. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh yeah, these, these guys, guys blow up your towers, huh? Yes, yes they do, and they're not very nice about it. Also, if you get close to them, they do a lot of damage. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Ah, I hear something. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, that was me kind of blowing up. <laughs> oh, he's going to attack my barricades. Okay. Should be fine. There's a big goblin, I think, going for the center. Oh, yeah, he just took him down. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Charge attacks. Oh, there's a lot of them. So does having more projectiles, like, help a lot? Well, the whole thing is each projectile still does base damage. It's not as if the damage is split. Oh, that's really cool. Hmm. That's awesome. Which means, yes, it helps a real <laughs> lot. Because I see you just blasting down people. Yeah, it's convenient. I got really lucky to find the weapon, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like I should probably switch it out, though. I think I should heal sometimes. Oh, that guy's going for 
Yeah, I mean, just hit one occasionally. Should keep you alive. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> get away from my towers, you exploding little bastard. Yeah, like, there's a big difficulty spike in this level for some reason. Oh, well, yeah, the first level's pretty much just a tutorial. Ah, I getcha. Mm. And this one does have three entrances and three ways to get to the core. So our future ones pretty pretty evil. They are insane. <laughs> there are ones that have like three cores that you've got to protect. Holy moly. And there are levels where you actually have to go and attack enemy cores. So is this all possible single player wise? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Like I said, there's different difficulties and stuff, so you can always just lower it down a bit and Ah, I getcha. Okay, so if you have any mana, I'd suggest upgrading your bumper towers in the middle. Okay. For reasons that you'll see if you hit tab and look at the bottom. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is probably what killed you last time, if I had to guess. Probably. You're probably right on that one. I hope you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh... Which, oh, you mean the... <laughs> so, what? no. What? I thought I knew, Maybe but never not. Uh, well, you'll explain. see when he comes out of the gate. Oh, you're... T oh, okay. the ogre, okay. Now I know. Oh, okay, yeah, you know. <laughs> I forgot all about the ogre. I didn't even see the ogre, I just failed. <laughs> oh, fair enough. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I asked you about that last episode, and you said he was a menace. Yeah, yeah. But he's the weakest of the menaces. Really? Yeah, there's bigger you've got bosses? The, ogre. the ogre's not even a boss. Oh, wow. He's just a strong unit. And there are upgraded versions of him. For example, the Dijin. They teleport and fly. <laughs> I don't like them. That's kind of evil. <laughs> so they can yeah. fly over your towers? Yes. That's not cool. No, no, not, not cool really at all. not. And then you got the Sharken, which are just really big sharks. <laughs> I can't wait to see all this. Oh yeah, but they're way later. I can't even remember what level they are. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe... Like I said last time, I can't believe I didn't play this game earlier. Yeah, it's a good game. It's something that I could get addicted to. Oh yeah. And there's just so much to do in it, once you get the hang of it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's even got two different endless modes. Really? Yeah. You got endless mode where you can attack, and you got pure strategy mode, which is towers only. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. I saw that tower defense, right? Yeah. So, is that pretty hard, or is that any difficult? Mm. It can be, but it's got good rewards, too. Hmm. If you get to level 40 of any level, you get a rare pet that you can only get by doing that. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Like, you can get a venomous dragon, like a Chinese serpent kind of dragon. Huh. Hmm. I think so, that's for the first level. Was pets always a part of this game? Wait, what do you mean? Like, when this game came out, were pets a part of this game also? Oh, yes. Okay. Huge part. There were even pre-order pets. Oh, okay. Mm. So Which are, is a shame, because I want them and I can't get them. <laughs> are they pretty cool? Oh, they're amazing. Okay, there we go. See that big message on the screen now? Yeah. That is pretty much the Harbinger of Death coming for us. That's what I saw last time, and then uh, I failed. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so our main goal is pretty much just to get him into the middle lane because we've upgraded the middle more than everywhere else. Can you actually kite people to different yes. places? Yes. Certain enemies are actually aggressive, like the ogres. I so they will you. actually actively go after people as well as um, towers. But the problem is, if an ogre gets to the core, it's an insta-loss. Oh, that's, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, it can suck. Stupid suicide. Well, he's coming up the middle. Yep, he is. <laughs> it's a start, I mean. 
Okay, we're gonna murder this guy. Hopefully. Hopefully. He doesn't do as much damage as I thought he would. Of course not, you're the knight. <laughs> As me, two shots. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Not good. Douche. Um, yeah, well, wait. Okay, you hold on to... You take care of him for a bit. Alright. I gotta come over here. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's almost down. My barricades That's... are getting him pretty good. There we ah, go. He's down. Really? Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So what games, hey. what genre of games do you prefer the most? Or is there any... Um, difficult games. No real genre in particular. Okay, so do you like... Do you like Dark Souls as much as I do? Yes, I absolutely love Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls is amazing. Dark Souls is an excellent game. I thought it was really cheap at first, but then I started playing it because it's so addicting. And then I was just mm. like, this is one of the best games ever. Yeah, because, I mean, sure, it doesn't teach you how to play, and you <laughs> think the game's really hard, but it's not really that hard once you learn how to play it. Yeah. Since... I beat the game SL1, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's not bad. Uh, oh, yeah, Um, something important you should know. If you hit tab, you'll see little dots around the map. Green dots are good armor pieces, black dots are crap armor pieces. Oh, that's really cool. And weapons, yeah. And I think there are yellow dots, too. But it's rare to find a yellow dot. What's a yellow dot? Um, like, in between good and bad. Oh, okay. Yep, I definitely see some green dots. Yeah, there you go. Go and equip them. Right now, I guess. And now that we're both level eight, we should actually be able to use the store. Nice. Well, I didn't know you. Good. I didn't know there was a level requirement. Uh yes, yeah, certain items do have level requirements. Oh, well, yeah. actually, every item does. Oh yeah. All right, yeah. cool. We're all good. Yep. And we will just hit next level, I guess. Proceed and then I will exit level. us out to the tavern. Sounds cool. Have you seen this level before yet? No. This is the first hard level. I'd say. Hmm. But this is <laughs> a really good level for you. Like, your character excels at this level. Is it because you know how there are all of these lava pits everywhere? Mm -hmm. Your bumper tower can knock people from one of these lanes into the lava pits. Oh, cool. Yeah, that makes it pretty convenient. Even over, okay. even over the rails? Even over the rails. Because, like, as you can see, you can just flat out walk over the rails. Oh, okay. I getcha. Yeah. Nice. There were probably better ways to demonstrate that than jumping in the lava, but, you know. <laughs> Well, whatever. Yeah. I, I like your way better. <laughs> I get to see you die. <laughs> wow, that's kind very of, nice of you. Kind of an evil thing to say, but... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, what you gonna do, really? Gotta have okay, so check design. out the shop and see if there are any level 8 pets you can get. Draw level 12 for me. Alright, let's see. But you can also check out weapons and armors and see if there's anything good there for you. Yep, there... Well, there is Simba. Simba, I can get at level 1. Yeah, well, there you go. Grab him. He can uh -huh. only help, really. I okay. don't have him there for me. The shop is actually different between both of us, so... Oh, is it? Is it, like, yeah. uh, based on class, or...? No, it's just based on person. Hmm. So where does I mean, your... like the weapons are different, but you know. Right. Where does the pet come in? Like, can you summon them now? Or... Yeah, you just um. Okay, come over to the tavern keeper. All right. Go to your item box, and just equip him. Hey, welcome back. All right. I click give to hero. Where are you, pet? Oh, there you are, here at the top left. Also, if you click on, um, sell all, you'll sell all your junk items. Nice. It can be helpful. Um, so on. Yeah, sweet, you want to end the episode off? Yeah, I'm jealous, you got a pet. <laughs> I've got a green pet. 
You want a green pet? Yeah, man, because like, they always be stealing me lucky charms, you know? <laughs> Your lucky charms! All right. We don't even have lucky charms here, you know? I'm just kind of... Really? Like... Yeah? I, there's been so many things I wanted to ask about Australia. Ah, well, sweet. We'll do them in the next episode, then. Sounds good. All so, right. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, thanks. And that has been Kaz. <laughs> Woo. See you next episode.